Hey you guys, so this is my um, me showing my project. Um, so the first thing requires me to show a first person um, move that's um, when you create a first person walking around environment, do not import Unity FPS package. You have to write your own script to control the main carry. Make sure that um, you can use WSAD um, back. And then um, I'm going to do the also the create another controller, and then I'm also going to show with that um, um, for the left and right arrow keys. Um, I have it for like the mouse um, for to looking around, and also the creating a. And a control switch, so I'm gonna show all that. So I'm gonna show the control switch and looking around. Basically, I'm gonna show how my project look requirement well, some and then and I'm gonna go back to some of the points that I missed. So um, I'm going to open up my game and it's going to play. Hopefully, um, as you can see, that's my health bar, and um, I have it set up where um, that. Um, you can it starts with T um, T G F H and you're gonna click the mouse right here and do this and um then you can start working with W A S D Um Okay, that means I messed up something on the control switch, so So I'm going to go to Unity and change that. So I'm going to the edit project settings input. So that means I changed something. Um, I'm going to go up and switch S. No, I'm going to switch this S. S W and this this should be fine and so um, I'm going to hit enter I'm going to what I'm going to do is um, going to Play that again and see. So, like, as again, I showing I hit the control switch and and what it's gonna do, it's gonna so WS is still moving up and north. So that means I did something wrong. I'm going to pause the video and see. So I got it fixed. It's just me being dumb and not record when I was fixing it for the input stuff. So um, basically, um, my cubes, um, we I have a total of three cubes. And if I use my mouse to look around, and um, if you see none of them, only on one of the enemies have a health one. Um, so these are like dummies ones, so like they really don't do anything yet. I just have them for display. The one that you see like right here, like the one I'm pointing to is the one that's the actual enemy. So I'm gonna um, um, go up to them. And show, and see, but first I want to see anything else that I missed. So I'm going to pause, um, pause this video and check. So as you can see in my video, I had um, the um, player's health set to 100, and I had a two um, two controller switch. I'm gonna show the customization one last, cause um, I have my reasons. And 
um, I create a cube as an enemy, and we're gonna see if it can lose five of its health and um, five of its health and show it from two D health. Um, if your health is less than hundred, you're restored. Um, if you did not, not hit the cube more than 10 seconds. So we're going to show that and also, um, um, create a, a projectile that shoots two different, um, the bigger size will cause 20 damage and the smaller size will cause, um, 10 damage. And then you'll create, um, um, the enemy will lose health and it will dis um, disappear. So I'm going to show all of that. And then the last one will be the customization one. So we're going to go back to this and I'm going to just switch the controllers again. And and for my balls, let me show you um, like a little demo. Like when I shoot it, I set it for a random generator. So like sometimes it shoots the bigger, sometimes it shoots the balls. So it's really a random generator. So, so I'm just gonna continue. So I already switched the thing. I'm just gonna move the angle, and then we're gonna go close up to the thing. So um, I'm going to move it in an angle like this, and we're gonna show um, what, what happens when I go close to the thing. So I'm going to go close. And I'm going to see. Um, hold on. I have a set where it can check, but let me. And we see that it's 97. And like after a while, it's the health will regenerate. And by two. So right now it's at 97. So 899, it should be at 99 when it regenerates. Because that's how I set it up to be. Um, and you can see that the health bar just jumped up a bit. So we're going to see when I hit it again what the health is. So it's 96. So that means the health was uh, regenerated every two seconds. And then we're going to shoot the um, enemy. And you can see that the enemy has a 3D health bar GUI. I'm sorry it's so big, but I didn't. I don't know how to make it any smaller. But it's going to show. Um, so I'm going to just shoot the enemy. And I have to shoot up because um, if I don't, the um, it will shoot downwards. Because it has a code where it's always shooting downwards. So you saw like after I hit it. The enemy's health bar um, decreased, and that's um, little simple things like this. Um, I'm going to shoot it again, 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 and it, it destroys itself. I, I never understood that bug where it the enemy regenerates its own health, but it. I did. So the last thing I want to show is um, the the customize. So you click on this and you see and it gives you customization on um, the thing like any key you want. But for some reason it's a bit wonky. Some of the keys work and then some of them do. I, I have never understood, understood that. But like I'm going to add one more of those by the time I finish this project and I believe I finished uh, uh, like every requirement it's just the control settings is not working so I'm going back to um, what it says so what I managed to do is um, do, create a first person controller without like downloading the FBS controller Moving directions. I created another controller with 2GF, back, left, right, using, and then the left and arrow keys. I really used a mouse to look around, so it's um, I I don't have it set up where it looks for um with the thing. So when you do it, you do it by the mouse and the mouse um, touchpad. 
or if you're using an actual mouse, an actual mouse. And um, also for the TGF, the TGF um, actually is the one that starts off first. So when you're using it and if you want to use WSD, you have to click on the control switch and it will automatically switch um, you. And one more thing I have to add, like, do not look down all, all the way because it does flip the screen upside down. And that's one thing I've noticed, but um, overall the game works. And there's the create a 2D um, it's, it's on set that's 100, um, and then create a 2D control switch. And um, I have a create a 2D GUI to enable and customize every single input key. I have that too. Um, it kind of works like some of the keys when you switch it work, but it, it, not really. I I can't figure out why why it's actually doing that. Um, um, create a cube in the environment, which is Emmy, and we'll, when you hit it, you lose five percent of your health. Um, I did that. Um, um, if your health is less than a um, hundred, you will automatically restore it by two. Um, if you did not, did not um, hit the cube more than 10 seconds. Um, if you hit the cube within 10 seconds, the timer has to reset. Um, the creator, um, and you saw like I hit it before like kind of 10 seconds and it went to like 96, so it automatically reset itself. Um, and then create a projectile um, script um, to use. Um, the left mouse and shoot two different colors and I did that is set up as a random gen so it shoots it randomly and then kill your spirit after five seconds or hit the enemy um, the bigger the size um, I have it set up for 20 and the 10 damage and then um, the last thing is to create a 3d enemy health when the enemy was hit by the spirit the enemy loses corresponding health if the enemy had health is less than or equal to zero, it will be destroyed, which it did disappear from the environment. And um, the other two you don't have to worry about because those are just for display. The one that you see that has a um, a health bar hovering over it is the actual enemy. Those are just dummies that I chose to help me um, test out the game a bit and work out some bugs. So overall, I think I completed most of it and hope you enjoy this video and it showed everything what there is to do in this game so I'm just going to submit it ish and be on my way